Hey guys, Charlie the Plumber here. Coming to you live from Iron River, Double Long Hunt Camp. We got the 16 by 32 Army tent in here. We got all our gear set up. We're pretty much good to go. Basically, I'm gonna take you through and show you our convenience centers. This is why we have that big old trailer to haul all our stuff up here. So, walk over here. We have the bag o boards. Cornhole, however you want to say it. Got a couple of boards. 12 gauge apparel did the graphics. Brother, the tall ladder, straight up carpenter, did the paint on them. So walk over here. We've got our drink table. Obviously we've got a canopy over it because you don't want to get all snow covered. But again, we got our, our logo. This year's drink of choice, old fashions. We got the muddler here and we got the oranges and got the stir stick and all that good stuff. So gotta have a full size barbecue when you're up here. I've got ribeye steaks going on one day this week. So it'll be nice to put on the barbecue. Last night we had Mexican, uh, which was delicious as always. So we got our coolers. Obviously we got the big Pelican, got the Grizzly here, older Coleman there. So let's go inside. We'll take a look around in there. Got the door with the latch. Got the rope to pull the door shut. So here's the pantry. Got the garbage bags back in the corner. Lots of chips, pretzels, snacks. Down below, got the potatoes, big bag of onions, mom's homemade bread, and then obviously your plates and your silverware. All this stuff is put in pans so we can use it year after year four burner propane stove and then we have our trash and then this is a hand wash sink so when you get done you need to wash your hands you lay the water in the bottom of here and then basically you go in there and you wash your hands then you throw that stuff outside our gun rack that grandpa made is not set up yet obviously you got your rings for the outdoor things that you don't really want to talk about gun cases here's our kitchen table now we've got gas pipe going across the middle here and we've got the two lanterns up top. Uh, we've kind of quit using these lanterns because now we're going everything with the Milwaukee. Seems like it works out real well. So there's our hot water tank. Sits on top of our stove. Right now this tank holds about 20 gallons of water. We'll dip around that stuff, get that out of there. But we use this for dishes, stuff like that. You got your dipper right there. You go down, you dip in the water, pour it in the pan. So... Everyone needs to dry their boots, so you got a double-sided boot rack. And then you've got your boot hangers here. You actually can put your boots in here upside down and you can slide them wherever you need to. Got your clothespins over there and then this white rope acts as a clothesline. Obviously you can see different stuff hanging up and drying. Walk around to my rack. My rack is always the dirtiest here in camp. I got a little bit more room over here. Me and Junior are back there in the corner, but basically we've got just the two of us on this side. When we originally started camping, we had nine guys in here, so it was a little bit tighter than what it is now, but got my boots and whatnot there. Got your clothes hooks. Hang up your coats and whatever, and then obviously you can see my dirty laundry hanging up. Got my light back there in the corner. And of course, got the CPAP set up. Got sleep apnea, bad thing to have. Here's our oil stoves. We got uh, the little fans on top of there as the fan gets hot, starts to spin. So other than that, that's pretty much it. Inside the tent, convenience center. Take a walk outside. How's the well look? Lots of water, baby. Cleaned up down there? Beautiful, we got 30 gallons out so far. 30 gallons out of a crock well, which is pretty cool. We got our own well down the hill, so we'll take you down there later on during the week. Got the tarp. And obviously under the tarp, you have supplies. Just keeps the snow off it, keeps everything from freezing. We got our buck pole down there. Hopefully we'll be able to use that this week. So we have an upper and a lower crapper. And unfortunately, we're short on tarps this year. We didn't grab everything. We forgot a couple of things on that list. There's the lower can. Usually we have a tarp that goes over top of this. That way you don't get snow on you and all that good stuff. But carry your seat out, sit down, do your business, bring a good book. The trailer, obviously, you can see the fuel oil tanks on the side of it. We burn about five gallons a day up here for in them two oil stoves. We're talking about going to propane. 
but uh, I'm not sure on that. Anyway, guys, at this point, I think that's everything that you need to see for the convenience center. I appreciate everyone stopping by checking out Double Lung Hunt Camp. We're established 1992, family owned and operated. We got uh, myself and two brothers, my son and my nephew at this point. We had a couple of the older guys that can't make the trip anymore. It's a 10 hour drive, so it tends to wear on you. We're gonna grab some stuff, go out into the blinds, get some of that stuff set up. Appreciate everyone stopping. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Enjoy your deer season. Hopefully you get something. Be safe, enjoy yourself, enjoy your time with your family. I'm Charlie the Plumber. Don't forget to subscribe. One of the few things in life you get for free, even on the internet. Talk to you soon.